Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Tech Tips channel. Today, I will share with you how to use the import CSV function. This function is used to add new records and updating existing records in our app sheet table. Certain things we need to take note of when implementing this function. Especially the data locale setting. I will highlight the important point while we go through the step. Let's start the workshop by creating the import CSV action. Configure the action as shown. This is the data locale that I mentioned. This setting is very important especially importing data contain date time. Make sure the importing locale, CSV file locale, and the sheet table local are tally, is tally. Let's check out the importing CSV file format. In the CSV file, they need not match the field order of the table. But the header row must contains the field names of the columns in the table. And the key field is required. By referring to this key field, App Sheet will handle the add new records or updating the existing records. Next, the date format. Make sure the value is matched with our locale setting. And also, it need to match the locale in the data setting as well. In CSV file, it is very easy to configure the locale. Right-click the date column. Then click Format Cells. In the Format Cells, set the right locale. Alright, everything is ready. Let's try to import a CSV file. You will get a summary of the importing process if it succeeded like this. It show that there are 10 records in the CSV file. Eight records are inserted as new records. While two records are updating the existing records. Let's check with the CSV file. Total 10 records, two is with existing ID and the other is a new ID. Let's check the imported result. These two records are updated according to the CSV file. While the other is inserted as new records. Inserted date also in the right format. Alright, we are going to end the workshop today. The CSV importing function is very easy to configure right? Few things we need to take note of when configuring this function. The first row in the CSV file must be a header row. Each column in the CSV file corresponds with a field in the table. The column may occur in any order, but the column name in the CSV must exactly match the field names in the table, including capitalization. Up sheets table locale, CSV files locale, and the importing CSV actions locale must be tally. Alright, we end here today, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.